Hey everyone, welcome back. In this Selenium Python tutorial, we will learn a very, very important concept that you will use very frequently and it's a must in your automation framework. That is all about how you can run your test cases in different browsers or different URL, test URL, etc. So you have to handle your test cases or basically whenever you write your test cases, it's not specific to a specific browser, right? You are not writing it for Chrome or Fire Firefox or Internet Explorer. It's a web test and web application can be launched in any of the browsers. So cross browser testing is very, very important. Now, till now, what we have been doing is whenever we are executing our test case, it's always executing in the Chrome browser because we have instantiated just the Chrome browser, right? And launching our website on the Chrome browser when it gets launched. Now, how can we run the test cases on different browser based on the arguments that will pass through the command line? Say, for example, in the command line, I say pytest hyphen browser Firefox, then Firefox browser should open and it should start running the test cases on the Firefox browser. If I say hyphen browser edge, then edge browser should open. So let's go ahead and see how we can implement it. So if you have followed my PyTest lectures, I have explained this with the dummy code in the PyTest lecture, and this is the actual implementation of that same thing. So I'll quickly go to the old code here, and this is what I have explained in the PyTest lectures. So if you haven't watched through, go ahead and watch it. It will help you a lot. So I'll copy the whole thing that we have implemented, and all this code has been explained in detail what exactly is add option, what is browser, what is request. So go ahead and watch it. It's a good learning for you, right? So now let me just move everything down a bit and paste everything here. Okay, so now I'm doing nothing different. So this method I will remove. I'll just say so what I'm doing here is I'm doing nothing different. I'm just comparing the browser, right? So so here if you see in this browser request, right? This is basically to inform the command line that there can be an argument or the option which will accept some value, right? And that value I'm will be checking here so if that value is Chrome I can launch Chrome so it's pretty simple logic here so what now I can do is I can simply so previously I was just printing now I will remove with the actual logic there okay so if browser is Chrome I can put this statement there right so launch the Chrome browser right now if the browser is Firefox OK, so I want to mention that whenever somebody is passing these arguments, they have to pass it exactly the same way. Chrome or Firefox, right? Then what we need to do is we need to launch Firefox. So this is the web driver manager, right? So this is what we have been using to configure the web drivers to launch these browsers. This has also been explained in the previous tutorials. So this is to remove the manual download of the browser drivers and keep them at a particular location. So what web driver manager does is it automatically downloads the latest version that is available and will place it for your execution to automatically configure the browser driver and launch the browsers. So for the Firefox, this is what we need to use, right? So web driver.firefox and then executable path, gecko driver manager, and that installs the driver. Okay, so let's go ahead and replace this line here okay similarly I will add one more so I'll say elif browser is equal to let's say edge as well okay so we'll have three then for edge we have this here right so web driver dot edge edge chromium driver manager dot install so I will copy that and I'll paste it okay and once you will copy and paste them there you have to import right so for Chrome driver manager we had already imported right so you just hover over on the others that you have copied and simply import web driver manager the link that is shown here okay or simply just write web driver manager import web driver manager dot Firefox dot gecko driver manager it's easier to import this way right you will see that it has been imported similarly we'll import the other one Right. So now those errors are gone. So once you have implemented this, I do not need any of the print statements. I will simply after this, what was the code? I was basically getting the or opening the test URL and then maximizing the page and then returning basically the driver to the class. Right. So 
after this what i'll do is i will simply paste all these lines here okay and after the yield keyword i will simply say driver dot close okay so this is the change that is required in your code and now we do not need any of these lines here now after this what we have to do is because uh, this is the fixture right we are returning the browser details so we just have to pass this fixture along with this setup right so that it can recognize what fixture or the browser values we are passing right so all this detail has been explained in this tutorial which from where i have copied this particular command this particular code so please go through and watch it you will understand this piece of code in much detail there okay so now once you are done with this let's indent all the details here fix the indentation issues this is fixed and all okay so there are no errors now and now it should be good to go all right so now at the moment if you see it will now be able to detect the the web driver uh, basically the browser value that we pass in the command line so if i pass chrome it will open chrome browser and run the test cases in that if i pass firefox it will run on firefox if i pass edge it will run the test cases on edge all right so let me close this command prompt and copy the project path and run the test cases right so say for example now i want to specify that i want to run these test cases on edge browser okay so i'll simply pass hyphen to hyphen browser and then provide the value right so here if you see the value it will accept is edge browser for firefox it's firefox and chrome it's chrome so if i run this now it will run the test cases in the edge browser so let's wait you will see that it has opened the edge browser now and will open the website in edge browser and do exact same steps that we used to do in the chrome browser it has selected the date clicked on search flight on the flight details page flight results page basically it will scroll down it's at the end of the page it will filter the results and then start with the verification process of the one stop so you can see the verification has finished and the test case executed exactly the same way as it has executed previously right so you can see 20 failures were there and this is from the soft assertion so you'll see that failure 20 19 of 20 and this gives the total of the failures and below is what we get the total results and then wherever it passed or failed all these details are being printed in the console because in the code we have done like that okay now here we have parameterized the browser right so we can pass the browser as an argument now say for example i want to pass the test url as well as the argument right so it is also very very simple what we need to do is if i want to pass any other argument in the command line i'll simply in this particular add option method i'll add another option and i'll in this case i'll say add the url as well along with the browser i want to specify on which test environment i want to run this particular test case right so i'll say for example i want to run it on chrome on qa environment or basically qa1 qa2 or pre-prod environment so i can specify the url for those environments accordingly right so maybe this is the production url right so maybe the qa environment for yatra.com is qa.yatra.com right the test environment or the sit environment is sit.yatra.com so it can be possibility and it's usually how it is done in the actual project so depending on what url we pass this value should automatically get updated here and the url should get opened accordingly so you just add another option here for the url okay and define another fixture so i'll copy this and paste it here and in this fixture i'll define the you the method name as url and then return the url okay so i'll simply say return the url and this is the fixture for the browser and this is the fixture for the uh, this is the uh, fixture for the url so i'll just use this fixture along with the browser comma separated i'll also say that as part of the setup you expect the browser and the url as well okay and now here instead of hard coding this url i can simply replace the url there okay the the value that is coming that will be passed from here right and that should be it in order to launch the website so now say for example i want to run the test cases on firefox okay and the url is say for example kiwi.yatra.com right so for example this is the url all right www.qa.yatra.com this is not a valid url definitely it's going to fail but i'll just show you that it will open firefox and it should open this particular url in this particular case right 
it will open qa.yatra.com in the Firefox browser. So you'll see that it's configuring the browser. You'll see that it's a Firefox browser and you will see that it has opened qa.yatra.com, right? It couldn't open because this is definitely not a public URL and I'm testing on yatra.com, which is public URL and can't open, right? So obviously this test will fail, but this is just to show you that you can now pass any URL from the command line and your script will take it, right? So instead of QA, if I say, for example, now pass yatra.com, then the script will run exactly the same way and it will run on the Firefox browser with this URL, right? So I do not have to hard code any of the URL in my script or the setup part of the script. So you'll see now it has open Firefox, uh, Firefox browser and open yatra.com in the Firefox browser and performing the test cases on Firefox browser. So the result end result of the test cases should be exactly same. And this is how you increase the coverage. Basically, you write your test case and then you do the cross browser testing. If you have to do all these things manually, you can imagine the amount of time you have to spend on doing cross browser testing. So once you have written your test case, you can do all these cross browser testing in different browsers, right? So it has filtered the values and it will do the verification and will give the results as it used to give in the Chrome browser, right? So the same results. So it has this time it displayed 42 flights, which is expected because dynamically, I mean, this is the public website. So maybe there is a possibility that there is one more flight that has been added, which has just one stop, right? So that's pretty much all about how you can run your test cases on a different browsers and how you can parameterize the browser and URL so that you can accept those values dynamically as an arguments from the command line and execute your test cases on the browser and test environment configuration that your project needs. Now, if you want to pass any other option, it's as simple as just adding a new line here, adding a fixture and calling that fixture here. All right. So this is very, very important concept. I'll upload this whole code there so you can go ahead and use it as, as it is you know, required in your project. You can optimize it. I mean, I'm not saying that this is the best optimum code available out there. So optimize it as per your requirement and uh, if possible share it back with the community so that will be really grateful for for your project as well as for the community so that's all for this particular tutorial i hope it was helpful thank you very much for watching